people i'm back another video two in a day or two in a week back to back that's crazy right but you know i don't normally do uh new comic book videos or excuse me new comic book day videos but man i went to my lc yesterday and i just had a ton of books and i got some cool stuff and i thought i'd just share with you guys do a little show and tell time if you recognize that beat in the background that is the first eight bars that I remixed for the Lord's theme. So this is Rockmaster Scott. The Roof is on Fire remix. So let's get right to it, man. So I picked up uh, just some stuff. This one's really not that important, but it's a pretty interesting read. And if you follow Robert Kirkman's career, just pick up Firepower because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but AMC is missing a martial arts show ever since Into the Badlands was gone. So who knows when it came back. So this one's kind of cool. I don't want to... So this is what I like to call spoiler-free as much as I can. I try not to read all the comics and tell you guys all the details because there's about a million other people on YouTube that are doing that right now. So I would just say at the very end of this, there looks to be a cameo of a new uh, group of characters. We'll just leave it at that. So just Firepower number three. Um, I also got these, man. These are kind of cool. I don't know if these came out today or they came out last week, but either way, I saw them. I grabbed them. Uh, this is Marvel Zombies Resurrection. If you really want to go and spec, is that the first ever zombie Galactus? I don't know, man. But you know how people are just reaching nowadays for everything. Either way, it's still interesting. It uh, features what they call the Galactus Horde, which is like a horde of zombies under um, Galactus control. And an old vampire hunter friend makes an appearance in the very last panel. So I got the regular cover, which is dope in itself. It's in Yuk Lee, or Lee in Yuk is the cover artist, which is absolutely gorgeous. But I also picked up this Greg Land, Dark Phoenix uh, zombie variant, which is pretty dope in itself. So always love me some Greg Land. Uh, I believe these came out this week for sure. You've been following the uh, multiple printing crazes recently. This is Strange Academy. This is the faculty uh, I guess you could say third printing variant. It covers, it features all the uh, the faculty members. And I don't know how they brought back the ancient one, but I've been reading it, and uh, the ancient one is back. And so you got Hellstrom, Scarlet Witch, Brother Voodoo, who's called Doctor Voodoo nowadays, I believe. I believe that is uh, magic. That's the librarian chick. Forgot her name, and that's the chick that used to be in the Runaways. That was the uh, the Asian uh, sorceress chick. So uh, got two of them simply because I'm collecting Strange Academy right now. It's on my pull list. I uh, picked these up, too. These are interesting. This is the Juan Jose RIP variant. Yeah, I thought RYP was a uh, was an acronym for something. Apparently, that's his last name. Juan Jose RIP. 
This, of course, is Web of Venom. This is Wraith in this issue. Wraith uh, encounters Null, and he has a little thing going on with him. So I don't know all the spec that's going on with Venom right now in the world of Null and Codex and Virus and all that. I just think it was a cool cover. I looked at the insides of it, and it looks like uh, Wraith is hunting down Null. Null doesn't know exactly who he is. So somehow these two are connected to each other. So... Go back and read some issue of uh, those old Wraith issues or Thor issues or Venom issues. I'm pretty sure you guys know better than I. I have been really waiting for these. Obviously, this is a little underwhelming since it's just a blank variant. But what's interesting is this is the first blank cover that I've seen from Marvel in quite a long time. I'm trying to remember when the last blank variant was. And I, and I mean, they haven't done it for months now. And I... And the reason I want to talk about that is it, I think there's some normalcy coming back because why have blank variants if you don't have shows and conventions for artists to uh, do sketches on them? So I think this is like a, the, probably the norm coming back now, right? I mean, in Orange County, where we, I live, theaters open on this Friday, believe it or not. Uh, indoor dining is going to be allowed. Uh, movie theater is going to be open, limited capacity, but Orange County is ahead of LA County right now. So uh, if you're in LA, come on down to Orange County. You can see a movie this weekend. So I'm going to definitely get a artist friend to do a skadoodle sketch on there. Uh, I'll, let me just preface this by saying I got a bunch of these. <laughs> this is the Scotty Young Rise of Ultraman variant. This obviously is uh, number one. This is the Olivier Copel variant. You know, it's not Oliver. It's Olivier because he's French. So I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm saying it right. Rise of Ultraman number one. This is shows a little Peter Parker or Spider-Man right on his shoulder. Also got the John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. As you all know, he's very famous for doing these. That's very cool. I've always wanted the uh, action figure when I was good. Any child of the 70s, I was born in 71, loves them some Ultraman. And you remember the uh, Ultraman series? This one is the gorgeous Alex Ross. Hey, this is the regular cover. And look how dope that is. I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's better than most of the variants, um, to be quite frank with you. But Alex Ross right there. Um, I looked at the internal pages. The art is pretty cool on it. So uh, hopefully it has a long run. I also got the 1 in 25 Yuji Kaida, Japanese cat Yuji Kaida uh, variant. There he is fighting this crazy beast creature. If you ever seen Ultraman TV show, uh, he always fights some really whack looking rubber suited creatures. This is the 1 in 50 Ed McGinnis variant. This one's pretty dope, too. Got it. Why don't they... There was a live-action Ultraman movie that came out not too long ago from Japan. It was absolutely bonkers. It was bonkers. Um, next up. This is Captain Marvel number 5. Boy Voyage to Star. Excuse me. Star number 5. This is the Phil Noto variant. Uh, and this is the last issue in Star, actually. So, uh, you know, it was nice knowing you. So, you know, it's interesting, you know, back in the day, they always used to say this was a one in four or one in five. I don't even think they do that nowadays because they just say, hey, if the book sells well, we'll just make it an ongoing. But this one, sadly, if you read the last page on it, it says Star is going away. But this is a nice one in 50 Phil Noto variant. And in the back of that, they say her next appearance will be in Captain Marvel 22. And I say segue because I got Captain Marvel 21, the Jenny Friesen variant. And yes, it's Friesen. It's not Friesen. I actually saw an interview with her because everybody's always saying I butcher people's names. So I saw an interview with her and she introduced herself as Jenny Friesen. 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 I probably just butchered it again. Um, what's interesting about this is, is this the first appearance of L'Oreal, which is uh, Captain Marvel or uh, Carol Danvers' Cree half-sister, as her first appearance of her as the accuser. So you you show her full blown with that crazy axe and she turns all green. She looks like the accuser. So this is the first appearance if you're paying attention. Um, I got two of them. This is the variant, but uh, there is an actual another cover that unfortunately my LCS or somebody already snagged it. That's where they show Jenny or excuse me, Lori L as the accuser on the cover. So I think if that character has any legs, that'll be the cover to get. And this is the one that I really wanted. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I had my LCS hold it for me. Um, this is Emp uh, Avengers Empire Aftermath, something like that. The Alex Ross Legends variant. I probably butchered the name of it, but 
It's basically a one shot. It's a thank you variant. It says it on the very back. And it just kind of uh, summarizes a lot of the Empire stuff. And more importantly, I got it because of the dope, dope Shang-Chi. Oh, these are all the legacy versions of the character from Black Panther to Iceman to Black Widow, Spider-Woman. You see she's got the netting, the, the uh, what do you call them? Wings, damn it. <laughs> the wings on her shoulder. All oh, this is, uh, and so this is leading to, I think it already started this week, where Alex Ross is doing a bunch of legacy uh, variant covers. I think this week a Namor one came out, but he's doing like 20 or more of them. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Shang-Chi one and the Doctor Strange one, and a couple other ones. But this is a one per store variant. Uh, sure enough, eBay started going crazy with them all over the place as soon as people got in their hands on them. Um, if you if you go to Midtown, they want a ridiculous amount for them, $176, which is three times as much as they're selling on eBay for. So if you're interested in this at gorgeous Alex Ross variant, Look on eBay. You can probably get it for a lot cheaper than you can on Midtown. And uh, yeah, man, so that's my little haul right here. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll do these a week, every two weeks if I have, like, I'm not going to do a video haul for four books. If you want to see that, go on Instagram. Uh, follow your boy, Lord Jalan Box, on Instagram. But if I get, like, you know, 10, 15, 20 books, I would definitely do a video just to do a show and tell. And maybe uh, you guys do the same. Show me what you got. Or maybe it'll inspire you to get something because it's all about, right? It's all about collecting and sharing uh, with one another. So, Till next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.